until then just released this week oh my goodness i have played this game on steam next fast and it was so mesmerizing and it has this hd 2d style that has sprites in a 3d environment but the sprites are really big this time around and so well animated it almost feels like you're in an anime or something and there are so many custom big animations the world feels so alive in this realistic lighting it has this slice of life beautiful feeling how you're just there in the world and going about your day it's beautiful and the way they do storytelling is amazing at least from what i played in the demo and yeah i'm sure since the very positive reviews it has something good to give until then steam summer sale is upon us and i thought i will share what kind of games classics of pixel art you can get that are at least 50 percent off games you should really look into that have really brought up pixel art to a new level at 70 percent off we have old oh boy what a classic with art from snake pixel simon anderson one of the legends on pixel joint i think he has the most liked or high rated artwork up there and yeah this was seven years in the making if i'm not mistaken and for a good reason because the pixel art level is just astounding this is new age style of pixel art with very clean clusters really big attention to detail in that respect yeah it really embodies the 2000s pixel art uh, school of thoth very 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 cool uh, stuff it is 70 percent off at six euros from new school to old school sort of old school because it's a sort of relatively new game Timbleweed park from 2017 but old school because the environment artist on this game is mark ferrari who's brought to lucas arts adventure games that we know monkey island he brought the dithering into those games in the times of ega loom was the first one i think where he just went and created all these different colors that doesn't exist in ega just so he could have more beautiful backgrounds and he brings that mentality into timbleweed park as well except he has way more shades on the lighting sort of trademark style for timbleweed park characters by gary winnick and backgrounds by mark ferrari what a legend in the pixel art world from the 90s timbleweed park is also available at 65 percent off just for seven years and from old school classics into new school techniques chasm with background art done by dan fessler who came up with the hd index painting method hd index painting is an approach where you use photoshop posterized layers to be able to paint with a stylus and then the posterization creates a limited color palette out of your smooth grayscale soft brush you can even add dithering check out his tutorial on youtube if you want to know how this works absolutely wonderful environments and a good metroidvania probably the only metroidvania i ever finished chasm is available for mac windows and linux at 75 percent off only almost four euros check it out i don't think i have to make a special introduction for celeste probably everybody's play did by now but if you haven't i want to talk about it because one of the artists on the background is pedro medeiros who we all know for his great tutorial series that has been sort of trademark of how tutorials are done these days on twitter and then we also have noel berry who started with the whole celeste classic on pico 8 with the design really experienced artists on this game that have contributed so much to the world of a pixel art a learning sharing all this knowledge with everyone how animations can be done how different effects can be achieved just a world of knowledge from saint 11 and celeste right now is 90 percent off so if for some weird reason you haven't got it in your library at two euros you owe yourself to play it i finished it i don't even like platformers 
<laughs> but I persevered through this precision platformer with 85,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews, crazy stuff. And now we lower the resolution down with Lunark with Johan Vinet on the pixel art. He really is a master of making the most out of nothing. Just so few pixels on the character and he makes such expressive animations and fluidity inspired by classics like flashback and rotoscoped animations like Prince of Persia and Out of This World. Lunark is a sort of hidden gem here with a little bit over a hundred very positive reviews but definitely worth a look just to learn how stylization in pixel art can be done with such low resolution so you can get Lunark now for only 10 euros 50% off for Windows and Mac and now we go into some space bending stuff Fez really went crazy when it looks like a 2D game, but in fact, everything is in 3D, you can rotate it around. And Renaud Bedard, the programmer on Fez, came up with this concept of Trixels with Phil Fish doing the art where you have yeah, geometry done for a sort of tile done from four different directions. It allows Fez's completely mind-bending perspective on things. Such atmospheric environments really worth to immerse yourself into this world if for some reason you haven't tried it yet. A classic from early 2010s, it's now 50% off during the sale. You can get it for 5 euros. Another game that really pushed this 3D voxel information data type forward was Pathway with art from Simon Bachmann. He did the art direction and how this game pushes things even more forward is that now the engine has complete 3D information of all of the items in the scene, it can apply completely dynamic lighting that takes into consideration all of the geometry that is in the scene. So you get completely correct cast shadows, dynamic point lights, you name it. It's amazing, still one of the most advanced, if not the most advanced pixel art engine out there. From 2019, it's already been five years and I'm still amazed by this game and because the camera is done in orthographic projection just like with Fez it actually looks like a normal 2D game at first glance but then the shading really blows it out of the water. Pathway is currently at 70% off so it's only gonna cost you 4 euros. And now we move from 3D that looks still like it is 2D Octopath Traveler put 2D sprites into the 3D world. They didn't exactly come up with the art style as we'll see a little bit later, but they did bring awareness to it with calling it HD 2D, where we have 2D sprites put into this 3D world and together with The Last Night, who premiered this kind of art style in 2017 with a lot of other effects. Yeah, this has really started a new genre of games that mix 2D sprites and 3D backgrounds. Octopath Traveler has very, very positive reviews, lots of them, and is 50% off right now for 30 euros. Now, why did I say that Octopath Traveler or The Last Night didn't invent this HD 2D, 2D sprites in 3D world? Well, because we have Disney's Hercules, a hidden gem from the end of the 90s, 1997, Disney Interactive released this breathtaking game that just so cleverly hides 3D geometry and mixes it with 2D pixel art textures that everything just looks perfect. Especially when you look at these cliffs, they are just cubes, but because they don't actually use shading and they only use shading that is baked into the textures themselves it just looks like the cliffs have 
proper three-dimensionality and all the details even though the geometry itself is very low poly i think this was running on a ps1 what a complete gem from the old school days disney's hercules is 65 percent off so you can play it just for two euros well what are you waiting for get this classic and i will see you in the next section in this week's do-it-yourself section we are going to say hello to nerdy teachers who are super into pico 8 they are creating the pico view magazine which is how i got to know them because i did the cover for the latest quarter magazine which has a lot of cool stuff in it but today we're talking about them because they just put out a free youtube tutorial welcome to the first video in this course about pico 8 this is the first episode, first time opening, and the nerdy teacher really goes into all of the basics. These are simple Pico 8 games that we can run right away. I think it is aimed at a younger population, but I kind of found it very zen to just listen to very slow and methodical explanations. We call them carts, short for cartridges because we like to think of our Pico 8 games as bulky physical cartridges from early consoles like the Atari, Nintendo Famicom, or Game Boy. It's all really well explained, beautiful content. If you want to learn how to code or make pixel art, get started with video games, definitely get yourself Pico 8. There's an education edition that is free, so now you have no excuse if you want to get into this beautiful beautiful fantasy console check out nerdy teachers on youtube all right have fun and that is our episode